what y'all doing tonight? Beautiful Friday evening. My name is Ron. I'm the host of this show. And I do a daily devotional to help give you something to meditate on. A good meditation starts by reading something thought-provoking. So, let's read something thought-provoking. <laughs> From... Isaiah chapter 42. Huh. This is the Lord speaking about his son. This is what Isaiah writes. Look at my servant whom I strengthened. He is my chosen one who pleases me. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or raise his voice in public. He will not crush the weakest reed or put out a flickering candle. He will bring justice to all who have been wronged. He will not falter or lose heart until justice prevails throughout the earth. Even distant lands beyond the sea will wait for his instruction. God, <clears throat> the Lord, created the heavens and stretched them out. He created the earth and everything in it. He gives breath to everyone, life to everyone who walks the earth. And it is he who says, I, the Lord, have called you to demonstrate my righteousness. I will take you by the hand and guard you, and I will give you to my people, Israel, as a symbol of my covenant with them. And you will be a light to guide the nations, and you will open the eyes of the blind. You will free the captives from prison, releasing those who sit in dark dungeons. Amen. A little context from my men's devotional. I level to a bulldog. My son and his wife have a 120-pound American bulldog with a powerful body and fearsome face. Yet, until we became friends, Buddy wasn't sure he could trust me. As long as I was on my feet, he'd keep his distance. But if I'd get down on the ground, Buddy's mood would change. Sensing I was no longer a threat, he'd playfully come running like a freight train, pounce on me, and want me to scratch his muscular neck. Maybe what Buddy needed from me is a glimmer of what our God gave us by coming down to our level and living among us in the person of Christ. From the day our first parents sinned and hid from the Lord's presence in the Garden of Eden, our tendency has been to be afraid of coming to a high and holy God on his terms. So as Isaiah predicted, God showed how low he was willing to go to bring us to himself. By adopting the form of a lowly servant, our creator lived and died to disarm our wrongs. How can we still be afraid to trust him? There's something to dwell on, to meditate on. And I don't know, when I when I read this, I, I really have to uh, dwell on it for a bit. What Isaiah wrote here was some 600 years before the birth of Christ. How, how you can't, how some people can't believe that this word of God is true is beyond me. And here's something else that just kind of jumped out at me. He will not falter or lose heart until justice prevails throughout the earth. 
Even distant lands beyond the sea will wait for his instruction. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think they had a picture of the world map back in Isaiah's day. How did he know that there was distant lands across the sea? And I don't know, you tell me. That is our creator's words. <laughs> Plain and simple. All right. There's definitely something to meditate on. Uh, the word of God is powerful. Take from it what you can. The word of the day is diminutive. Pretty simple. You all have a great night. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.